Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we are commemorating World Samosa Day. That happened yesterday. And helping us do exactly that in the kitchen is none other than Chefs Jay and our incredible guest for the afternoon, Fairuza. Now, this looks incredible, and this is a different kind of take on a samosa. Girl, you know what? Samosas don't have to be a snack. Samosas in my family are entire meal. Oh, yeah. So we've sort of taken that concept and turned it into a sharing Samosa pie, why not? Well, let's show South Africa exactly how to make it, nah? It's now good. loved by families for many generations, Cross & Blackwell is one of South Africa's most recognized brands. Renowned for its superior quality and taste and flavor, it offers a wide range of flavors which caters for all families' needs. With CMB, there's always something for everyone. Now today we're celebrating all things samosas and bringing you a snook samosa pie. I was sort of inspired by my travels up the west coast to Paternoster and Azerwuntain and apparently Snook samosas are a thing there. So I really, you know, took that on and added a lot more spices. But, you know, chatting with Feruza and mentioning that samosas are not just a snack, you always have it with a condiment of some sort. So Absolutely. that's exactly what I'm going to get yeah. stuck into here. So we're going to start off with sort of like a tartarish sauce, um, Fali, and I'm going to use the cross and black wall mild and creamy variant today. You know, they've got something for everyone in the family. You know, it's thick, it's creamy, it's extremely versatile. And what I love is that it's sweeter and it has less tanginess. So that means that it, it you know, sort of appeals to a wider audience, get the kids involved. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go in with that and we're gonna add some gherkins, some capers and some fresh coriander. Stunning, now already with mm. that um, sauce that you're making, <laughs> that's also what adds to the versatility of this dish. You Using the crust and black well, but on your side, Fabrice, yeah. I want to find out what makes <coughs> this recipe so versatile. What I love about it is number one, you could use it in the regular samosas, um, and then also it's like a family sharing meal. You know, I, I feel like it's a meal that's really affordable. Um, and what's not to love about snook? Really, it's yeah. really, you know, just just tells me this is just homemade. This is summer. This is winter. It's it's everything. It's delicious. Yeah. Now you've already uh, prepared the kind of the the, the the shell. The shell, The yeah. cradle of yeah. that's going to hold all of this filling. Yeah. So do you want to just talk us through what you're up to? Absolutely. So now I'm taking this lovely prepared um, snook filling. It's got some potato, frozen peas, lovely Cape Malay spices. I smell cumin, I smell mm. coriander, mm. garam masala. And then I'm literally just going to um, stack it down like that. And then here I've got a, um, I need to make a lid. Okay. And then you can make it really rustic you don't have to, it doesn't have to be picture picture perfect. Today I'm using a puff pastry, but really you can use any store-bought or homemade pastry that's just going to ensure that the filling remains inside. I love the rustic look. Yes. So I'm literally just going to pinch it down like that. I mean, because this looks like store-bought perfection. Yeah, I cannot you can. believe this was homemade. Yeah, and you yeah, know, it's absolutely, and you can, you know what, you can pinch it, you can take the fork, you can, um, but very important, I'm going to always poke a little hole to ensure that the pastry cooks really well and the, the air um, escapes and then also some um, egg wash. So That's here true. you can think about fresh herbs, you can put some sesame seeds, it's completely up to you. Um, but I really want to ensure that I get into the corners mm. and just brush it completely. And this is going to bake in the oven and that is the end of the pie mm -hmm. and, and the beginning of flavour. This is so mm. good! And I think the balance between the two, fantastic. The fact that it's got a low level of tanginess, you know, it really pairs well with a little bit of capers. It's a little bit sweeter. So yeah. add a few capers, some lemon juice. So and delicious. You know. It really, really yummy. is. Yeah, mm. girl, you have all the taste <laughs> in history. I am so here for it. Now, there really is something for everyone for, with Cross and Blackwell. Tasty food for everyone's taste buds. Now, to get your hands on this delicious recipe, please do visit afternoonexpress.co.za. We've got one delicious recipe coming up. Add a little inspiration to your food and have fun while doing it with the rich, smooth and sweet flavour of Cross and Blackwell Mild and Creamy. Mm.